Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful web banner design in PowerPoint. Let's get started. We are going to design this web banner using Slide Master. So let's go to View tab and then click on Slide Master. Select all the existing elements and delete them. Next go to Slide Size and set custom slide size of 6.5 by 2.5 inches. Format the background with solid dark grey color. Now go to insert placeholder option and then choose picture. Draw a picture placeholder on right side of our slide as shown and format it with pattern fill. Next go to insert tab and draw halo circle holding down shift key. Reduce its width using orange color edit point and slightly increase its size. Make it no outline and increase its transparency to see through. Adjust this circle so that it covers upper left corner. Now drag this circle holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create a duplicate and align it as shown. Make sure both circle align perfectly with each other. Now remove half sections of both circles by subtracting rectangle shapes. Also remove the portion which goes out of slide area by subtracting two more rectangle shapes. Now duplicate remaining two sections using Ctrl plus D and align it with original shapes. Go to selection pane and hide original shapes. Now subtract picture placeholder with these sections. We will still be left with another small portion, just subtract a triangle shape to remove it. Duplicate picture placeholder using Ctrl plus D and intersect a rectangle shape with it. We will use this shape for shading purpose. But for now, we will just hide it for later use. Now unhide original circle sections and format them with linear gradient. Make it a two-step gradient and change its direction. Change both stop colors with different shades of any same color.
bring bigger section to front. That looks perfect. Next go to insert tab and draw rectangle shape with height equal to that of cut sections. Place this rectangle shape on left edge of our slide and increase its width until smaller cut section. Now union both shapes together. Go to insert tab and draw circle shape over bigger cut section. Union both shapes together. Next go to slide master tab and insert another picture placeholder. Go to insert tab and draw circle shape holding down control and shift keys. Align it co-centric to previous circle shape and make it no outline. Next intersect picture placeholder with this circle shape. This will change our picture placeholder into circular shape. Format it with some pattern fill. Now these are important steps. Unhide all shapes under selection pane, arrange them as per design requirement. Next select all the shapes and cut them. Make sure not to select and cut picture placeholders. Now close the slide master view and select the layout which we have designed just now. Finally paste all the shapes back onto our layout. By doing this way, we will still be able to select all shapes and arrange them as required. Finally add text fields on to our design and beautify it more by drawing some lines. Finally we can make use of picture placeholders to add our custom images and apply some shading effect if required. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.